A great free online tool for creating mind maps is called Bubless. Bubless allows you to create mind maps that you could save to your online account, share with others, or print out for offline viewing. Let's take a look at how it works. To get to Bubless, type its address, bubbl.us, into your browser's address bar. You immediately see a big button that says Start Brainstorming. Go ahead and click that. You're now free to brainstorm. Let's make a mind map. You always want to start with your main topic in the center of your map. Click on the bubble that says Start Here and type in your main topic. For this example, I'm going to use vegetarianism as my main topic. If you hover over the bubble you just created, you'll notice that there are two ways to create additional bubbles. You can create child bubbles, which are connected to a parent bubble, or you can create sibling bubbles, which are alongside and not connected to the original bubble. Note that these are just relationships, not different types of bubbles. A bubble can be a sibling to one bubble and a child to another. Now I need to add subtopics and related concepts. There are two ways to do this. First, I could add a child bubble by clicking Add Child Bubble and typing in a related concept. Or I could add a child bubble by using a keyboard shortcut, Command and Enter on a Mac, or Control Enter on a PC. A good mind map will shoot for about four to six related concepts, and each of those related concepts should have at least two to three more specific topics. When you have all of your subconcepts mapped, you can move them around by clicking and dragging them. Sometimes concepts from two distinct branches of your map are related in some way. We can connect them with an arrow to represent this relationship. Hover over the first bubble, click and hold on the connect icon, and then drag to the bubble you want to connect to. If you create a bubble accidentally, or realize that a bubble just doesn't fit, it's easy enough to delete a bubble. Just hover over the bubble you want to delete, then click the red X. To help keep the different branches of your map distinct, you could change the color of the bubbles. To do this, hover over the bubble you want to change, click on the background color icon, and pick whichever color you like. Notice how Bubbless changes the color of all of that bubble's child bubbles as well. Before you get too carried away, you'll want to make sure that you save your map for future use. To do this, you'll need to create an account with Bubbless. Click on Create Account on the right, and you'll be prompted to create a username and password for free. When you're done, you'll be able to save and share your maps. Once you're logged in, click the giant Save button, if you haven't seen it. This will then list the sheet in the right hand side where you could save up to three maps for free. Finally, to share a map with your classmates, you need to create a read-only link to that map. Select the map you want to share in the right hand side, then click the drop down arrow next to sharing. Then select read-only link to this sheet. You could then copy and paste the URL so others can view your map. Hopefully you'll find that mind mapping is a helpful way to organize your thoughts. Although Bubbless is the tool we'll be using in this class, there are many other online tools to use and there's always good old-fashioned pencil and paper. Don't let technology get in the way of your learning.